Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is your first time joining. Thank you for joining and welcome. Um, before we get started, please be sure to subscribe, like, share this video, and click on that bell to stay updated with videos that come out in the future. Um, so today is September 9th. Today is the new moon in Virgo. And let's see what the daily guidance message is for today. I haven't shuffled or anything. And I'm sorry for the background noise. I'm actually sitting outside in nature and it's raining. Which is really, 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 really soothing for my soul right now. Um, and a little bit about myself. The way that I do readings, I take everything into consideration. Being that it's raining right now, I feel like there's a release that's taking place. A cleansing and a purifying energy that's coming through for today. Um, to be more serene and accepting of the way that things are. Just a very cleansing energy with this new moon in Virgo um, energy. I feel like a lot of accomplishments are going to be realized today. A lot of inspiration is coming through. I will be pulling a card from the healing with the angels oracle cards. Angels, gods, and goddesses oracle cards. Earth magic oracle cards. And the Rumi oracle, which is my favorite. So starting off with the first card, which I am shuffling now. We're going to try to make this a quicker reading for today. Okay, so two cards came out. First card is new love. Second card is music. So what I'm feeling with these two cards in combination, a lot of people are releasing the things from the past. That may have held them back or kept them blocked to whatever happiness they may have been searching for in life. And because certain things were realized, I feel like people are taking a new look or having a new look on things and finding a new appreciation, a new love, new gratitude for something that they may have walked away from. They're actually listening to the music of their hearts. They're following the tune, the rhythm, the sensation that this creates to follow this new, this new love, this newfound love. And I feel like this, like I said, this is something that a lot of people may have walked away from or became very dispassionate about like it's new music to their ears um next part is angel of union a new partnership is blessed and destined for greatness I said a new partnership. It actually says the partnership is blessed and destined for greatness. So this could also have a lot to do with a love situation. It could be somebody that, you know, like I said, it could be something that someone walked away from. Or, you know, something that someone's not so sure of. And now their heart is like open. Because of the healing energies that the universe is providing us. Um, if this is a person, per se, that you may have walked away from or may have felt that you wasn't quite sure of the situation in the person. Spirit is saying that this is 
a blessed union. And something great is coming from it. Follow the inspiration of your heart when it comes to certain individuals in your life. Like, my heart is so open right now. And I'm hoping that, you know, you guys can feel it as well. I feel like this new moon is just, like, really opening people's hearts to see the truth in some things. And it's clearing out old energy. For advice for today. Uh, that's too many cards. Just want one spirit. That advice for today's video. It's emergence. Dragonfly. I am going to read the meaning or the um, channel message for that. And like I said, this reading is going to be a little bit more quicker than normal. But pull from it whatever resonates. Because I offer healing. Spirit, the, the divine offer healing at this moment okay so this message reads you are in an intense process of emerging into the next cycle of your life unlike more gradual shifts in awareness you have experienced this one is happening quite rapidly and came on somewhat unexpectedly without any pauses for contemplation or indecision you may have even think i'm sorry you may even think that you are unprepared for such dramatic changes in your life Yet, you are prepared and can put to use the experiences and wisdom you have accumulated up to now. Life is demanding that you move into the next stage of maturity. This requires you to adjust your thinking about yourself, others, and your community. It calls for you to shed yet another layer of ego-filled defenses and let go of any illusions of being less than who you are. This period of emergence is one of broadened consciousness and heightened perceptual capacities. And since it is inevitable, it is best to surrender to the flow and allow yourself to gracefully move into the next cycle of your life. This is a new cycle that's coming through for this new moon. Um, like I was saying, like the energies are pushing us to release what no longer serves us. Um, I will come out with a video later today speaking on, you know, this whole process. This is just a daily guidance video. I'm going to do like an energy update. And so we're going to pull our final card from the Rumi Oracle. Okay. Mm -mm. <laughs> Two cards came out. I just want one. Okay. Okay. We have Dance of the Divine Feminine. Okay. If a tree can move from one place to another, it will not suffer the pain of the saw. Or the oppression or or the oppressive wounds. If the sun and the moon stood still like rocks, they could not offer brilliance. How bitter the taste of water would be if the river stopped its flow, remaining still like the seawater. When the seawater rises to become a cloud, it loses its bitterness and pours the rain of sweetness. Wow. <laughs> 
I have given you only a few examples. You can figure out the rest. Break away from the self and enter the kingdom of love. How can you, how can your feet bear to be still when the music is so lush and inviting? Listen to these key words, you guys. Music. The rain. Okay. So how can you hold yourself back from the tide of love when the horizons loom so vast and exciting? How can you not arch your back and respond with ecstasy to the lover's touch saying in absolute submission? Yes, more. You are made to move and grow, to flow, to love and flow. Even mountains change. Surrender the stogie ways of the mind and become willing to dance to the great orchestrations of love. You may feel unsettled, beloved, as though the ground beneath you is not so solid. You may touch it to see. Is it moving? Of course. It is hurtling towards the sky, spinning tilted on its axis. It's amazing you aren't passed out on the floor in utter dizziness. Yet, you still stand there, imagining you have a choice of not moving. What funny foolishness. Let us laugh about it together. How can you... How can you even imagine it only through some misplaced fear? It is such a small craziness, really. You can cast it off, that small crazy fear. Let it return to the earth, mother, to become fertilizer for the far grander and more exciting insanity of divine love instead. Give up that tiny insanity in favor of the greater craziness of love. You cannot be unmoved by it. The rhythm of life will get you shaking your hips eventually. How could you not become entranced by the gleaming dance floor, shimmering with possibility and invitation? This oracle comes to you with guidance. Your life may feel as though it is being tipped upside down. Perhaps you feel as though the great beloved and the feisty mood has grabbed your ankles, is holding you upside down and shaking you wildly until your skirt is over your head or the pockets of your pants become freed of their contents, keys and wallet dropping to the floor in disarray. Your hair is messy, your bottom is in the air, and your sense of orientation is nowhere to be found. Blood is rushing to your head, and goodness knows you just want to be put down to have a moment to come to your senses. So the beloved will give you that gift, but don't imagine it will last for too long. The great beloved esteems you capable of so much more than being sure-footed and sensible. You are capable of more whirling and stumbling, whilst inspired by the music of the spheres. If you just accept the great invitation to dance, there won't be so much roughhousing going on. It won't be needed because your hair will already be in a mess, your blood will already be pumping, and you'll be sweating, laughing, smiling, and dancing. The great beloved will be alive in you, which is all that grand seducer ever wanted in the first place, even with all the jokes and horseplay. Disarrayed and disheveled by the divine love, or divine beloved, you are able to break out of a too ordinary world. You will explore the delightful consequences of rock boats and upset apple carts being swept away by love as you dare to dream bolder and wilder dreams for yourself in the world this is bigger magic i'm sorry there is bigger magic for you to weave this lifetime prosaic prosaic priorities inherited from the world are stuff and nonsense it is yourself whilst the beloved is tipping i'm sorry it is yourself whilst the beloved is tipping you upside down like a roaring bird and most impressive aerial dynamics it will be through establishing right priorities, the priorities of your own heart. So ask yourself what matters most and attend to that. That's what I said earlier. <laughs> Soon you'll be able to find your orientation, even if everything you have once held on to appears to be shimmering and insubstantial. A mere dance of light rather than solid ground. This will become so easy for you because your orientation will flow from within, from the heart, and no matter what shifts and changes takes place around you, your center will remain strong. This is what the beloved wants for you. Such peace and relief it shall bring to you.
there will be a piece of um once you let go um i just want to cut in right there because that's very important to have that peace of mind to follow your heart to follow those inspirations of your heart to follow the music of your heart This is what the beloved wants for you. Such peace and relief it shall bring to you. But perhaps some shaking about is required. First, in case you are reluctant to give up some mis- some mainstays. Unaware of how much they drain life away from your heart center. This oracle brings you this message also. There is something you are holding on to. A person, a place, a thing, a belief, a vision. And you need to let it go because it wants to grow. It may grow and change into something utterly different, or it may grow into exactly what you are imagining. Whichever outcome, growth is happening, and you'll find you'll enjoy the way much more with greater flow and support and less bashing of your head against the proverbial proverbial brick wall if you can let it happen. Don't worry if it seems as though your world is coming to an end or you are losing something you once loved. This is just the shaking about of the great beloved to lead you into a deeper, sweeter dance of divine being and becoming. Put your focus into your heart and realize you are more ready than you think. Now shake those hips, stamp those feet, close your eyes and clap your hands. There, that's better already. Okay, everyone. So hopefully this message resonates with you all. Um... Please let me know. Comment below to let me know if it does resonate. And um, also be sure to check out my information in the description box below if you would like to book a reading with me. Okay, you guys. Until next time. Love and light.